So I'll show you the fingering for a one octave chromatic scale starting on an open string. Um, I'll show you the one octave chromatic scale starting on A. when you look at the music for a chromatic scale is that on the way up sharp signs are used and on the way down flat signs are used. Um, the notes that you play are the same on the way up and on the way down but they're just spelt differently on the page. These are called enharmonic equivalents. It just makes it a bit easier to read. Um, so on the way up we've got sharps and on the way down we've got flats and I'll just explain that as we go along. So your starting note is an A, just start on the open A. The next note is an A sharp which is the same as a B flat and you reach back with your first finger to play that. You then slide your first finger forward by a semitone to play a B natural, and then a semitone away from that is a C, which you play with your second finger. You slide that up by a semitone to play a C sharp, and then play a D, which is um, right next to the C sharp, and then you play a D sharp, which is the same as E flat. You play that with your fourth finger. Then you play an open E string, then you play the F, which is an F natural, remember, so you have to reach back for that note. You play that with your first finger. You slide your first finger forward to play the F sharp. You play the G next to the F sharp. Slide your second finger forward to play the G sharp. And then you play the A, which is the octave above the open A string. So those are the notes on the way up. On the way back down, we play exactly the same notes, but um, we uh, they're spelt with flat signs instead of sharp signs um, where necessary. So we start on the A. Then we play an A flat or a G sharp with our second finger, slide the second finger back to play a G, play a G flat which is the same as an F sharp with the first finger, then an F natural, sliding the first finger back, then the open E, then the E flat with the fourth finger which is the same as the uh, D sharp, and then the D uh, is right next to that with the third finger, then the C, uh, the D flat, sorry, which is the same as a C sharp, play that with the second finger. Slide the fake second finger back down to play a C natural. Then play a B natural with the first finger, slide that back to play a B flat, and then play the open A. So the only fingers that slide are the first and second fingers in this fingering. So you reach back with the first finger and slide it forward, reach back with the second finger and then slide it forward. Then play the third finger and the fourth finger a semitone away from each other. Play the open E. Reach back with the first finger, slide it forward, reach back with the second finger, then slide it forward, then play the A. So that's the fingering. Um, the key to this is really listening and making sure that you're in tune. It can be quite easy to um, either slide your finger too far or not quite far enough um, and end up with more notes than you're supposed to have on the scale, which can sound a bit strange. So one of the, the best ways of checking is to, whenever you get to the third finger note, to make sure that that is an octave above the string below. So if I play A, a sharp, B, C, C sharp, and then D. Just check that note. Check that that agrees with the open D string. If that note's not in tune, then probably you've gone um, astray somewhere with your sliding with your first and second fingers. So just really check that. Just practice that a few times. So making sure that that third finger note is exactly an octave above the open string below, that will really help you with the tuning. When you're doing the sliding of the finger, slide from the bass knuckle. And make sure you slide far enough. Most often people don't slide quite far enough. They don't realise how far apart a semitone is. They don't quite go far enough. Um, sometimes people go too far, but mostly people don't slide their fingers far enough. So just make sure you're moving your finger far enough.
So the fingering for um, a chromatic scale starting on D and a chromatic scale starting on G is exactly the same as the chromatic scale starting on A. So starting on a D sounds like this. starting on a G sounds like this. <laughs> 